Hello everyone, good evening. We'll be starting in a minute. Can you see my screen? Can you see the yep. code? Can you see the it's code? The yep. Okay, so how is everybody? Good. Good. So who has done the homework? I have. Me. I have. That's me. Good. So we will. That's good. We'll just be going through the homework in lesson six. So challenge. This pet's name is a special shape. Name tag is a special shape. Can you figure out how to draw the outline? This long side is 150 pixels and each of the short sides are 75 pixels. Who wants to have, give it a try? Me. Can I? Yep, Behan, you can do it and then Data, you can do the next one after that. Okay. Uh, okay, so yeah. Your mic is quiet. I can't hear you. Um, we need to move by 150 pixels, not. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Turn right 45 degrees. Yep. Yeah. Move forward 75 pixels. Okay. And then turn right 90 degrees. Yep. Move forward 75 pixels. Yep. And then turn right 45 degrees. Yep. Move forward 150 pixels. Yep. Turn right 45 degrees. Yep. Move move forward 75 pixels. Okay. Turn right 90 degrees. Yep. And then move forward 75 pixels. Does everyone think it's correct? Let's give it, let's run it and see if that's correct. Yeah, that's correct, good job. Um, my screen's frozen, I can't see your movements. Can you um, stop sharing and then share? Okay, does anyone else have the issue? Can everyone see my screen? Oh, no, it's yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, I can. Data, so you wanted to do this one. One more tag. The triangle is for pi. Each side is 150 pixels. Put a repeat. Yeah. Three times. Okay. Move forward by 150 pixels of side. Yeah. And a turn left by 120 degrees. Yeah. Yep. Is that all? Yes. Okay, let's run it and see if that's correct. Yep, that's correct. Good job. Look carefully at the code below. What would happen when you click run? A, the artist will draw a triangle with three equal sides. B, the artist will draw a single line. C, the artist will draw a square. D, the artist will draw a pentagon. Who wants to have a try? Can I? The artist 
We'll draw a square. Can I do it? Yep. Dive it's it? C. C, okay. Who else agrees yep. on C? I agree. Okay. Let's try it and see if it's correct. Let's run that. That's correct. Good job. So let's move on to the extras. Who wants to do the extras? Me, can I do one of them? Yeah. Can I do the row? Which one? The row. The row, okay, yeah. Who wants to do the pet house? Neil, do you want to do it? Okay. Shriyans, you want to do it? Shriyans, do you want to do it? I kind of joined late, so I don't... I'm just doing... Oh, okay, that's all right. Uh, Deshaun, do you want to have a try? Derek, do you want to have a try? No. Sorry? No. Okay, then who wants to have a try? Who did this one as homework? Raise your hands. I have. Okay, so do you want to do it? Okay. Yeah, so draw rooms for each of the animals. There are many different ways to solve this problem, so have fun. Each square is 100, each square has a side length of 100 pixels. Um. Um, you put a repeat four times. Okay. It's a move forward by 100 pixels and turn right by 90 degrees. Can you kill him? And then jump forward by 100 pixels. Yep. Then, uh... Repeat three times. Okay. Then it's uh, move forward by a hundred pixels inside and turn right by ninety degrees. Okay. Let's see. If that's correct. Does anyone have a different answer? Okay. Let's run it and see if that's correct. That's correct. Good job. Okay. So we'll do the road. Rihan, you wanted to do it? Yeah, I want to do it. Okay. Just a minute, it's loading. Okay, help me paint the yellow lines on this road. The three line segments have lengths of 150, 100, and 200 pixels. Move forward 150 pixels. Yep. 150. Yep. Uh, turn left 90 degrees. Left, yep. Move forward 100 pixels. Turn right 90 degrees. Yep. Okay. Let's see if that's correct. That is good job. So now we'll move on to lesson seven. We will deal to challenge seven and then the rest would be homework in lesson seven. And then we would go to lesson eight and do the same. So lesson seven is just a video. 
seems like that, yep. I'll be playing the video. This is a fantastic lesson called My Robotic Friends. It's a lot of fun. We teach programming without using computers. So we get groups together where people program their robotic friends to stack cups in a certain configuration just by drawing arrows on paper. So right now we're implementing the activity that they've been working on. We had a programmer who wrote down this program using arrows and we have a robot who's reading the arrows to try and figure out what they need to stack using the cups. So she'll translate the arrows into specific movements to try and make one of these stacks. So what did you guys understand? You can unmute and talk. That you can um, program with even using arrows? Yeah. Anyone else has anything to add on to that? <laughs> that sounds like a no. So let's just move on to the next lesson. Does anyone have any questions so far? No. Okay. So lesson eight is loops with Ray and BB-8. So it's going to be another video in the first level. I'll be playing the video. Ray needs BB-8's help. In these puzzles, you will program BB-8 using the move and turn blocks from the toolbox. BB-8 needs to pick up each piece of scrap metal to finish the puzzle. First, work to find a path for BB-8 that covers all the pieces of scrap metal. Then write the program in your workspace to move BBA on that path. You don't need a special command to pick up scrap metal. BBA will collect it just by moving over the top. Now let's get rolling. So what do you guys understand in that video? Brian's, did you, what did you understand? I'm, I'm still working on my art thingy. Okay, so maybe you can just leave that for homework and just watch, just continue with today's lesson and you can do that by the next lesson. Derek, you were going to say something? Okay. No. Okay. Does anyone else want to add on? Or say something. It sounds like a no. So let's move on to the next one. Go get the scrap metal BB-8. Use five of the same blocks to get the scrap metal. Scrap metal glows like this. So who wants to have a turn? Can I? Yeah. It's um repeat five times. Yeah. And a move forward inside. Okay. Does everyone think that's correct? Let's see. Yeah. Good job. 
So let's move on to the next one. What do you think will happen when you click run? BB8 will not move. BB8 will only move one space. BB8 will move five times and get all of the scrap metal. BB8 will only move three spaces. Where is it from? C. 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 Okay. C. Does everyone else agree on C? C. Yep. Okay, let's see. Let's run. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's correct. Good job, you too. So the next one is loops with BBA. It's a video. I'll be asking questions at the end. This is a repeat block. The code inside a repeat block will repeat or loop as many times as you'd like. In puzzles with BB-8, code looks like this works exactly the same as code like this. When you see the same block repeated over and over many times in a row like this, that is a clue that you can make your code shorter by moving the repeated section into a repeated block. Now let's give it a try. So what block can you use instead of adding multiple same blocks? Repeat. Okay. And is there anything else anyone wants to add on to that? Okay, let's move on to the next challenge. Go BB-8. To get all the scrap metal, try creating a loop that only uses one block inside of the repeat block. So who wants to have a turn? Neil? Can I? Uh, just a minute. Let's see if Neil wants to have a turn. No, okay. Yep, that's how you can. Okay. I want to have a turn. Okay, yep, Shriyans, you can. Okay, it's it's the same as the first problem that we did. So what is that? Uh, I mean, like, the second one? It's yeah, like, but what's the code? Repeat five times, and inside of the repeat five times is one move forward. Okay, and does everyone else agree? Yep. Okay, let's run it and see if that's correct. Okay, that's correct. Good job. So, there's level six. Keep it up, BBA. In this puzzle, two repeat loops will help you get BBA to all of the scrap metal with the fewest number of blocks. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it again. Okay. It's it's repeat four times and then a move forward inside of the repeat four times and then take the turn left and then change it to a turn right. And then I repeat five times and then another move forward in the repeat five times. Okay. Does everyone else agree? That's correct. Uh, I've spoken to Ram now. Yeah. So I'm gonna write. <laughs> yep, that's correct. <laughs> yep, that's correct. Good job, Shiran. So go BB8. Yes, you can do that. Okay, so move forward. Yeah. Turn right. Yep. Then repeat. Yep. 
Not forward. Okay. Let's run it and see if that's correct. <laughs> That's correct. Good job. Uh, can you get it all loops even work with more than one block inside? Can you loop the sequence? We hand you on how a try. Sure. Okay. Um, all you have to do is put a repeat block. Yeah. And add all that stuff that's already there into the repeat and then block. Okay. And then start it with me. Does everyone think it's correct? Yes. Okay, let's run and see. <laughs> That's correct. Good job. So the rest of this lesson will be homework. I'll be checking if we'll be moving on to lesson nine of what we'll be doing in just a minute. Does anybody have any questions so far? No. So are we going to be moving on to listen now in now? Yes, I think so. I'll just um, let you guys know in a minute. Just saying I accidentally thought this was for homework as well, so I kind of did this. Oh, OK, that's all right. So you just finished the whole of lesson eight? I need to join, yeah. OK. So all of this here in lesson eight will be homework. So level 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now we'll be moving on to lesson 9. We'll watch the video first. This is the harvester. She runs a big farm and needs your help to pick the crops that are ready to be harvested. Use the move and turn blocks to get the harvester from crop to crop. Then use the pick blocks to collect all of the corn, lettuce, and pumpkins. The bottom right corner will show you how many are available at that spot. If you see more than one, you'll need to pick the crops multiple times in the same square. Keep an eye out for sprouts. You won't know what crop those are or how many there are until the program is run. So your code may need to check what kind of crop is there before picking it. The sun is shining and it's time to harvest. Let us get started. Okay, so 
someone to explain what that video was about? You can unmute and talk. It's kind of like the same thing when we did the gems, but there are different types of fruits. Okay. That we have to collect. Yep. And there are different blocks for us to collect the different fruits. Okay. Yep. Does anybody else have anything to add on? Okay, so we'll be moving on to the next level. Does anybody have any questions so far? Mm. Okay. So, lesson. Yep. Yeah. So loops can be used to repeat more than more than moves. Use loops to collect all four of the pineapples. Direct when you're ready. Yep. Move forward. I mean, uh, um, move forward. Repeat. Yep, repeat four times. Pick up pumpkin. Does everybody think that's correct? Yes. Okay, let's try it. That's correct. Good job. Can you combine two different loops to move toward the pumpkins, then collect them all? So who wants to have a turn? Dotta? Um, sure. Okay, can I? Um, yeah. You have the, you put the repeat. Yeah. And it put a move forward in there. Okay. Then you put the repeat again, but this time put the number four times. Yeah. Then put pick punk pumpkins. Okay. Does everybody think that's correct? Okay, let's run it and see. That's correct. Good job. Can I do the next one? Yep. Yeah. And then Rehan can do the one after. Yep. Yeah. Collect all of the pumpkins. Can I show my when I'm done, can I show my when he's done, can I show my way of how I do it? Okay, yep, yeah, after. It's because I have like oh a way I can do it with seven blocks. This one? Yeah. I I can do the same. Yes. I just Seven blocks. It's very easy. Okay, let's let Derek have a turn first and then let's see. Okay, so. Repeat. Yep. Move forward. Okay. Mm. Pick up pumpkin and the repeat. Yep. Um, turn right. Inside or outside? Outside. Okay. And put the repeat as three times. Okay. No, no, no the first, uh, the oh, first okay. repeat. Yeah. Mm. Hold up. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, repeat three times, turn right. 
repeat three times in the inside or just leave it like no, that? No, no, get another repeat three. Get another okay. repeat three times and put that right inside the... Repeat. So this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, let's run and see if that's correct. I can't, I can't harvest the crop from here. Does mm -hmm. anyone else want to help try? I do. do. Okay, I yeah. Do. So first you use a repeat three times block. Yeah. And then you put a repeat five times block inside of the repeat three times block. Okay. Yeah. And then pull forward inside of that. Um, repeat five times. Yeah. And then in the bottom of the repeat five times, put a turn right. Okay. And next, uh, in the bottom of the turn right, just put repeat four times. And inside of the repeat four times, a pickup pumpkin. Okay. Does everyone? Okay. Let's see if that's correct, and then. That's correct, good job. So Rihan, you want, you want to do this one? Now there is corn growing too. Collect all of the corn and all of the pumpkins. You move forward two times. Okay. So two times. Mm -hmm. And then move forward, yeah. Side or Look. under the under Okay. Okay, now what you do is you put a repeat for four times. Yeah. And then uh put a pick pump pumpkin in there, pick pumpkin. Yeah. And then you do another repeat block. Yep. Um, move two times, so the repeat is supposed to be two. Yep. And then you forward in there. Okay. Okay, and then after that, you repeat six times of picking the corn. Okay. Oh, yeah. Pick one. Yeah. And then you move forward. Yeah. And then do a repeat four times. Yeah. And then uh, put uh, pick, pick pumpkin. Okay. Let's see if that's correct by running it. That's correct. I think there's another way to do it. I have a faster way. I have a faster way. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. So first you put a repeat two times. Yeah. And then put two more forwards inside of it. Yeah. Next you put repeat six times in the bottom of the two more forwards. 
Yeah. And thick corn inside of it. Yeah. And the, at the bottom of the repeat six times, put a move forward. Okay. And for the bottom of that, right, put a repeat four times and put a pumpkin in it. Okay. I mean, put a thick pumpkin okay. in it. Is that correct? You sure? Yeah. Okay, let's run, reset it in one. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. So you just use six less lines of code. Good job. So we will go into level six now. So collect all of the corn and all of the pumpkins. Neil, do you want to have a try? Yes. Is your screen on? You know, and uh, stop just going on the sofa if my screen is not. Neil, do you want to have a try? Okay. Um. That's that how you want to have a try? Yes. Okay. Um, just, just a minute. I think your brother's mic is on. Yeah. 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 Let me know when you're ready. Ready now. Okay. It's a repeat five times. Yeah. Move forward and pick corn. Okay. Then turn right, move forward, turn right. Turn right, move forward, turn right. Then repeat six times. Okay. Pick pumpkin, move forward. Okay. You sure that's correct? Yes. Okay, let's see if that's correct by running it. Just saying you put a move forward, move forward. It's a turn right. Oh, sorry. It's a turn right, move forward, turn right. Yeah, that's my mistake. Okay, let's run that again. Yep, that's correct. Good job. So, level seven. Collect all the corn and all of the pumpkins. Who wants to have a turn now? Deshaun? Let's see if that's correct. That's correct. Good job. Collect all of the corn and all of the pumpkins. Who wants to have a turn? Vihan, do you want to have a turn? No, thanks. Okay. Direct, do you want to have a turn? No, thanks. Shriyans, do you want to have a turn? Okay. Okay. 
So first you do, uh, wait, let me just check. Okay. okay. Yeah, you redo a repeat seven times block. Okay. And yep. do a forward. And yep. pick. And yep. pick. And yep. And then do a turn right inside all of these, all of the quarters inside of the repeat seven times. Yep. And then move forward. And then yep. pick pumpkin. Yep. Turn left. Okay. You sure that's correct? That's correct. That's correct. Okay, let's run it and see. That's correct. Good job. Uh, should we do the challenge puzzle? Or yeah, you can. So just continue. Like when you're doing the homework, just make sure you just go through the ones we did in class and just finish that off if you haven't already. Okay. So from the ninth challenge till uh, just a moment. So in lesson nine, the ninth challenge till the 13th will be homework. And if there are any extras, and we'll do lesson 10 as well. Now. Uh, can you go back to lesson eight? Stuff on it. Okay, yeah, no problem. So which one? Which challenge? Um, but all the way to lesson 10. Like the hobby, lesson 9 of lesson 6. No, lesson 9 um, for 8. The one oh, you okay, that we haven't done it yet. There will be homework. I mean 7. 7, okay. So you said we're doing... Is this the one that you're having trouble with? Lesson nine. Lesson nine, number seven. Number seven. No, number eight. So the one that we just did. Yeah. Okay. So what's the issue you're having? I didn't put a turn left at the end. Okay, so like it'll be move forward, pick the corn there, turn right, move forward, pick up the pumpkin, and then turn left, and then that goes over and over again. Yep. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions so far? I think that's a no. We'll yeah. We'll start lesson 10, but we won't finish it today. So how many levels are we doing in lesson 10? Um, I'm not sure. Let's see how, how much time it takes us. And then we can, I would say probably till lesson level five or less, level six, we'll go until today. Okay, is it okay if we just, uh... Um, do it on our own and then don't get help from the others because they like say the answers and then we get them. So, so what you do is that you help out and like you do the, you say what you have to do like the code in class and then when we give the homework like after class is finished. I'm not talking you, about the homework. Yeah, I'm talking about the classwork, yes. So you all contribute to like the code and then like if it's correct, we do it in class. And then if um, you haven't had the time to catch up doing it in class and saying it, you just finish it off as homework. So for example, we, if you didn't get up to like seven in lesson eight, but we did it in class, you'd still have to do it as homework as well. Okay. 
Yes, so it marks in the code.org. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I was just saying that when we're in class, and yep. can we just do the levels without getting help? When the other people say it, they get the correct answer, and then we can just put it on. But can we just do it by ourselves without getting the answer from the other people? Then how would you understand if it's correct or not? So what I'm, I'm trying to say is that you just don't do like you won't do the levels in um, the class. You just say like say in the call and then you just do it in your time after the call finishes. Just so then there won't be anyone there in the call when you do it. There won't be a call. If you understand. Oh. Yeah. Does anyone ha else have any questions? No. OK. So let's start lesson 10. Wait, what if what if some of them are like too easy for us? You still do it. OK. Yeah. So lesson 10 is free play kind of. So let's build something bigger one step at a time. Get the artist to the center of the play area using the jump to the middle section position block. Then use a draw sticker block to make something appear. Press finish when you're happy with what you made. And then so. This icon means this level is part of a large project. Changes will be saved across levels. So. Who wants to give this a try? Wait, where's? I can't. Sorry? OK. What happened? OK, nothing. I just found okay. it. Does anyone want to give it a try? Who wants to do it? Can I? Can I? Yep, sure. Can I? Yep, sure. This is it. Um, you put jump to the middle center. Yep. Then you put the sticker, um, draw sticker. Yep. And the picture should be, um, am I done? If you click it, the picture, I think that's the right picture. Yeah, that is. Because yeah. I got a different one. Oh, OK, so I think it changes for each person. No, what was yours? Continue. Continue. I'm just crashing it. Made it. Finished. OK, we will stop there for today. Should we do lesson eight and lesson nine as homework and then leave lesson 10 for next class? Yes, so just don't do any lesson 10. If you've done it, just stop there. And then, um, so just finish off till, where, till lesson nine. Okay. Um, so now we'll be, does anyone have any questions first? Yep, me. Yep, what's the question? What's the next lesson? So tomorrow will be at 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? We'll be sending a reminder and the recording of this class in the WhatsApp group later today. Okay. Any other questions? I don't know. Okay. Just a minute. Wait, actually, I do. What is it? Are we going to use lesson 10 as our homework? Sorry? Are we going to do the rest of lesson 10 as our homework? No, so don't do anything in lesson 10 till tomorrow's lesson. If you started it, just leave it as it is. Just finish all the lessons if you haven't finished any till lesson, the end of lesson 9. 
Okay. So now we will be taking a photo. So can everyone please turn on the cameras? Does everybody have their videos on? Yes. Okay. So get ready. Three, two, one. Out all, of us, out all of us. I still see some people who haven't had. Okay, let me just ch change it, the mode. There we go. So, is everyone ready? Just put thumbs up so I can see. Okay, so smile, three, two, one. Another one. Okay, that's all for today's class. If anyone has any questions, just ask now, stay behind and if not, you can leave. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.